locals have helped because um, they don't want to go too far. It's nice to get away while still feeling at home. Our guests are in a number is what I like to say. We like to make them feel at home. Behind a row of Grand River businesses and next to some favorite Michigan State student hangouts sits a bed and breakfast. Duck, duck, wild goose built about a hundred yards away from MSU's campus is this oasis, the Wild Goose Inn. Let's take a look. Al Bay graduated from MSU in the 70s. He didn't want to leave. He opened the Wild Goose Inn 30 years later. Oh yeah, this is, I lived in here when I was a student here in Michigan State. And the name stuck. Mine drove me home, dropped me off and asked, uh, well, Al, what's the name gonna be? Well, for 200 we had. I said, you know, I feel like we're on a wild goose chase. Every touch of detail adds a little magic to the rooms. He's always lived in Michigan, so we, you know, we get all four seasons. So I think that was his inspiration to try to uh, bring Michigan into you know, the end. If you've ever walked or driven on Albert Avenue, you'll see the yellow two-story on the corner. This was this here? This is this was inspired by the book Where the Wild Things Are. In the story, the one of the beds becomes a forest. Al is passionate about his work and he's happy to call Michigan home. This is a piece of Niagara Falls when I on a trip to Niagara Falls. And Al and his manager hope that when folks visit, they'll feel at home. And it's hard to find a job that you actually enjoy going to every day.